basically go through a whole load of things to do with solids, liquids, gases. We look at fire, we look at being science literate, so whenever they're using the aerosols and they're using the foams in the bath to let them realise that they are explosive, so don't have fire there, as you saw in the show. We look at forces, the fact that water is electrically charged, that's why we can get bubbles, talking about surface tension. Uh, so I fit in all these science words in amongst making huge bubbles, small bubbles, foam, fun, uh, and getting them to make uh, items like the foam blowing monster. So as soon as they leave here, they can go and make something that's scientific and fun immediately. There's a fear of science and they listen to the adults in the family and the adult, they didn't have maybe a good experience with science or the language that they were taught at school didn't give them access into the science. So my job is to, to break that language down using household equipment, household words. So what they realized what they did in school was exactly what they're doing in the kitchen when they're baking, exactly what they're doing in the bathroom when they're cleaning, uh, when they're in the, a mechanic and they're building. Everything that we do in everyday life is using science. Hoping that, that they're going to go away and read more about science uh, to do more science, to, to talk about their experiences. Uh, I think a, a lot of there's a lot of activities that go on around the country, but Science Week actually promotes it a lot more. So then uh, the parents will start looking for it more and uh, or start doing more activities at home with their kids, which are fun, and then trying to find the science within it. We're all scientists, and it's just letting them be happy with being a scientist, safe being a scientist, and then being proud of saying, I am a scientist.